This Sun server is my main home server, and it's been working great for hosting a lot of my home lab and internal test projects. But unfortunately, it's using a bit more power than I would have liked. So I'm going to take a look at what I have running in the server and try to remove as many items as I can to save a little bit of power consumption to help fix some issues I've been having with excessive power consumption. Taking a look at the power consumption of my server from the wall, it's averaging about 340 watts as it is currently and bouncing around going down to about 330 and up to about 360 as CPU and other loads vary over time. I'm going to look at how this power consumption changes with the amount of hardware I move to see how much this affects power consumption by doing each individual change. Since one of the largest sources of power consumption on the server that I can easily change is drives, I'm going to take a look at those drives first. I have roughly 12 3.5 inch hard drives, two 2.5 inch hard drives, and about 16 SSDs in the form of these Sun F40s, which each have four 100 gig drives on them. While drives don't really use much power normally, a standard hard drive might use about 5 to 10 watts and an SSD might only use about 1 to 5 watts, when you have that many of them, it really adds up quickly. Looking at the server physically, 12 of the 3.5 inch drives are on the front. The bottom four are 8 terabyte hard drives, all from shucked external drives. The middle four are WD Reds and the top is a mix of 500 gig old drives and two 2 terabyte WD purples. On the back is two 500 gigabyte 2.5 inch bays that I have old laptop drives in. And then for the internal SSDs, I have some of these Sun F40s. So these are essentially an LSI SAS controller with four 100 gig enterprise SATA SSDs on them. Almost all of these drives have ZFS on it and I'm using ZFS kind of as a volume manager and for doing RAID. So I drew up this little diagram here that kind of goes over the logical setup of all of my drives. So I've discovered looking at the difference between my logical drive setup and my physical drive setup that four of my drives aren't being used at all. I use these for previous projects, I set them up as like test volumes, and they currently aren't assigned at all, there's no files on them. So those are just going to go out first. Then taking a deeper look, I noticed I had three pools I really care about. I have Warp, which is a SSD only pool, contains 10 of these 100 gig volumes, and it's used for basically all of my VMs as I want the highest performance for them so they can boot and update quickly. Um, I am running into a bit of space issues because they're basically full all the time and I have to kind of keep deleting snapshots and trying to move things away so that I don't keep it too full. Um, and because of my lack of space, I've made a pool that I call purple, because it's two 2 terabyte WD purples and a ZFS mirror. This array is used for kind of large VM storage. My next plan for purple is to essentially get rid of it, and to move all the bulk storage onto HDD. And unfortunately, I will have to deal with what I didn't want to do, which was put more IOPS on HDD. This pool, I think, is relatively fragmented and just isn't very fast right now. I have a 10 gig connection, but I only get about 150, 200 megabytes per second. I'd like more, but unfortunately, I want to save the power more than I need a little bit more speed. And then warp, I'm going to replace all of these Sun F40s that I have here with my PM1725. I, I wanted to play around with these drives. I wanted to try a giant, essentially, RAID 0 just for fun with these guys. And I also kind of wanted to abuse them to see how far I can push this old EML, EMLC flash. But because I have a 3.2 tera drive here, I'm essentially going to expand this pool from, I think it's now about 1.2 terabytes to 3.2. Which will give me enough space for everything in purple that I kind of care about performance for. And the stuff that I'm kind of just archiving in here will move to HDD. And now that I've identified four of my hard drives aren't being used at all, I'm going to remove these four hard drives first and take a look at how much that helps power consumption. Two of these drives are two and a half inch drives in the back. And the other two are three and a half inch drives in the front. These are all 500 gig drives that I've used for test projects and don't need anymore. The VMs have now all been copied to my HDD storage array and I'm ready to add my SSD in to start using and copying from my main drive to replace the warp drives that I have been using. In order to do that, I have to shut down the server. I first of all hibernated everything that isn't really essential for my network to function. And now that I'm at just the bare essentials, I'm going to go shut down the rest of the VMs or hibernate them, and then shut down the system, and then I'm going to put the SSD in it. 
And now I've removed all the Sun F40 SSDs from my server and I'm ready to power it back on to begin normal operation and see how much the power consumption has changed. Before this change I was seeing roughly kind of 320 watts depending on load. One other big advantage of this power saving journey with my server is it's much quieter now. So because there's less cards in the system, it doesn't need to spin its fans as fast to keep the SSDs cool, which also likely is saving a lot of power because each one of these fans is rated for up to about 25 watts of power consumption. And the server is now running with my relatively normal load on it, and the power is bouncing around a little bit, but seems to be going from about 250 to about 280 watts. Now there's one last thing I can do now for power savings, and that is taking out my two 2 terabyte WD purple drives. Since I've already removed all the data from the drives, I can just pull them out right now as they are not needed. And now that I've removed the final two drives, my server power consumption has gone down even more. I see it go down to about 240 watts at low loads and I'd say averaging at about 250 to 260 watts at kind of more moderate loads. In total, I've saved about 100 watts from the server going from about 360, 370 to about 240, 250 which is a quite significant amount of power consumption drop for realistically removing drives that I didn't even really need. If I wanted to save a bit more power in the future, I could take out a few RAM sticks and knock it down from 96 gigs of RAM to 64, and I could also work on optimizing my programs so that I need less CPU usage. I could also limit CPU clock speeds to like 2 GHz to save me a bit more, but I'm not going to make those changes now as those would make a considerable impact to the workloads I'm running on which I'm not willing to sacrifice at this time. Thanks for watching this little video and the power saving on my server and subscribe for more kind of home server and networking videos.